God speaking to you here. The Holy Spirit is speaking to many people who are listening. Some of you, the training God gave you is not just for a civil servant. The, the way God raised you is not just for someone who will just, you will receive the training of one who should carry fire to the nations. But many of us have allowed the mundane pursuits of life to erode our hearts. There are many ways to participate in evangelism. Number one is prayer and intercession for the lost. Nobody has an excuse for that one. You can take time. Most of our prayer now is give me, give me tea, break through. Listen, may God deliver us whatever has happened to our hearts that has eroded the passion for souls. Give me faith. Give me designers. Give me this rubbish you die and in five minutes they will bury you and all that thing will not carry any there are many of us can i tell you this the call of god is a dangerous thing it will remain on your life even if it's after 20 years you just keep doing your thing keep running away from it it will haunt you there is a dimension of satisfaction you will never have until the day you return back to your knees and say finally oh god what is the worth of my life if i'm not serving your purposes this has nothing to do with being a pastor and this has nothing to do with a pastor's wife today's valentine's now you will not imagine how many people rather than focusing on seeing how can souls come to the kingdom it is flesh 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 what can i get what can i eat what can i wear whereas souls are dying every day there are whole families with not one person who knows about jesus there are some of you you are looking at me now your parents may not have up to five years left up to ten years left they are about to go and God is saying, will you let them go to hell? They were good people, only that they were trained as traditionalists. Can you make up your mind? It's not about London or America. Start from where you are. So the Lord is speaking to us. The first way to participate in soul winning and the global harvest is prayer and intercession. The second level is active evangelism not just when you meet as a church and they give you a card and you branch and go to your friend's house and sit down there for one hour and you say and you come back to church no let me tell you this when god started with us i told you yesterday the workers i will not go back to sleep until i see that at least one person is saved active evangelism in the car wherever god not that you move around harassing people no god bless you i have a message and a good news to tell you i want to tell you that jesus loves you and the person looks at you and say i'm already no, no no that's not the issue and you save that one person i will never forget years ago there was a gentleman who got born again and i helped that guy and followed later on he would become I think one of the faculty presidents and then that time I used to preach a lot in the campus they had invited me to come and preach and to my shock when I came the people who were receiving me was that guy he was now the president of that campus but that um, fellowship and he said thank you sir you know when Jesus comes that day when we stand I will see my grandfather with the souls that he won I will see Billy Graham oh may I not be ashamed when I stand before him and all you have is a bag of money and mundane things you were looking for, a bag of shirts, a bag of cars, a bag of real estate, as wonderful as those things are, I want to be able to stand and join the patriarchs and say, I may not have done much, oh God, but this is what we have brought to greet you. There used to be an old hymn that will sing, what do, must I go and empty handed? I know many people don't know it. You only know the one that God, you must answer me now must i meet my savior soul he said not one soul with which to greet him this is how we were trained in the seminary not a search for mundane things it was jesus it was souls it was kingdom 
I'm not teaching you to be irresponsible. You know that already. But I'm shaking you up because something is happening to this our generation. We don't know it's an attack. Return back to the things that matter. We don't have forever in this world. No matter how young you are, you do not have forever in this world. If I go to meet the Lord today, let it just be that I did not finish my assignment. But let it be that at least I did something. If you are not ready for evangelism, forget about the prayer for power. Forget about the prayer for money. There is only, let me tell you this, there is only so much money can do to you as a person. Believe me. It's just the spirit of poverty that makes us look like it's all about money. When God really blesses you, there is not much you will do with money. You will look at it and it's like dust. The only thing that gives credence to your pursuit is Jesus and the nations. Evangelism, intercession and prayer. Number two, active evangelism. Then number three, financing the gospel. Number three, financing the gospel. That is the third way to participate. And then number four is those who use influence to protect those who are sent. Are you seeing the levels now? There is prayer and intercession. There is the goers active in evangelism. There is those who now finance them so that they don't worry about matter of food and their children's school fees. So they can focus on the gospel. Then because we live in an evil world, there are those who must have the influence in government and so on and so forth to protect those who are sent. Many missionaries were killed because there were no men of influence who were interested in the gospel. We are not part of those who will just be killed like chickens. No, there must be people who have influence who can protect the missionaries so that they can also raise their children while they preach. I don't know how I got here. It's just, it's just something that is in your heart. Remember you were once saved though. Somebody had to preach to you. One day, like some of you, I'm about to make an altar call now. There are some of you who were invited, whether it's overflow, one, two, three, wherever. In fact, we're going to sing that song, Must I Go and Empty Handed? You know the song? Most of you don't know it. You only know these are songs that you write. And sing the, just the chorus. Must I go and empty handed? Or look for it there. Whilst we're singing that song, listen please. You are here, you are inside or outside. And you're saying, Apostle, this night, I came for Koinonia and I need Jesus. This is not the matter of ministry. This is a matter of your relationship. There is a, there is a huge need for global evangelism. Whether you are in overflow, one, two, three. If you're following online from whatever nation of the earth, please, I'd like you to tremble and break down sincerely. But if you are here, please, those who will be coming, aside from overflow three, I will request you to just go to the front of your projector stand. But inside here, overflow one, two, three, you are giving your heart to Jesus or you are rededicating your life. As we sing this song passionately, I'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand before Jesus who is your maker. Celebrate them as they come. Don't be ashamed of anybody. I go and please stand because of space. Stand, stand because of space. God bless you. Keep coming. Don't be ashamed. Keep coming. Run, run to Jesus. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. 